Bard, machinist, dancer, which one should you play next? Let's talk about job abilities and differences between each so you can decide which range job is great for you. First off, let's start with Bard. Starts at level 1 in Gridania, range DPS. Now, I have said it before and I will say it again. Bard is extremely simple starting off. Endgame Bard, though, probably has to be one of my favorite range DPS jobs and maybe jobs overall. It kind of just depends on how well that you can hit your procs. Under level 50 content, you're just dotting each enemy and AoE trash mobs, which is actually a plus side for Bard that it gets its AoE ability at level 18. So you're really contributing at a super low level, comparatively to some other jobs that don't get their AoE until far later. You will have two of your job ability songs at this point, which are Mage's Ballad in Army's Payon? Payon? I don't know how to pronounce that. Basically, the goal of Bard is to switch between three songs as you're DPSing in order to provide continual buffs for your party. Each song has a special effect for just you as well. Mage's Ballad will proc single target Bloodletter and multi target Reign of Death. These are on the same timer, so you'll use these depending if you're on trash mobs or boss battle. Army's Peon is just a weapon cast, recast an auto attack timer reduction for faster attacks. Level 15 above, you'll get your last song, which is your big damage song, Wanderer's Minuet. This allows the use of Pitch Perfect to proc and stack, which can be up to 360 potency damage for 3 attacks. Basically, the rotation is Wanderer's Minuet, Mage's Ballad, and then Armies, and you would always have a song up during battle. Fortunately and unfortunately, your dots no longer are related to the song, so that is a separate function that you will have to keep track of. Luckily, to reapply dots, we have our loved ability at level 56, Iron Jaws, which will reset the timers for your dots to keep DPS uptime. There is a certain set of rotation for DPS uptime for Bard for the songs, but most of the time it's just Wanderers, Minuet, Bages, Ballad, and then Armies. Bard can be very difficult for this reason though, as your procs at level 90 have an 80% chance of activating, so you're going to be doing a lot of button pressing. This is one of the few times that I actually needed to set up a hotbar floating in the middle of the screen in order to see the procs, as it just happens so fast that you won't really have time to look up and down between your cross hotbar and your boss battle. I am honestly obsessed with Bard in its current form, as being a ranged DPS, you are able to move and attack at the same time, which is super great for DPS. You have some utility in 10% damage mitigation ability, Trabador, and nature's men to help keep the tanks or someone else's party members health up our new level 90 ability is also a divination type effect of a six percent damage buff for the party if you hit all three songs and receive those codas we also have a few solo ogcds for just some increased damage to manage which is imperial arrow on a 15 second timer sidewinder on a 60 second timer and apex arrow which uses Yet another gauge, Soul Voice, which grows whenever you use a proc from one of your songs. Now, you can see why Bard can be a lot of button pressing, but honestly, I'm here for it. It is so incredibly fun to just rain down death on the enemies. But you might not feel this way until about level 80 or so. So hold out if you enjoy Bard because it's going to get a whole lot funner later on. If you want a super busy job, possibly super high DPS with complete mobility, then Bard is definitely for you. Machinist unlocks at level 50, but starts at level 30 in Ishgard. Now, Machinist had a very few changes in Endwalker. That being said, Machinist was already in a great spot to begin with with DPS and abilities. Under level 50, your main goal is just getting used to weaving between your GCDs and your two OGCDs, as well as getting used to using your heat gauge whenever it comes up. Now, like Bard, Machinist is a ton of button pressing, so if you really enjoy a busy job, then you're going to like Machinist a lot. Once you get heat gauge, you're using hypercharge, then it goes to heat blast, goss round, heat blast, ricochet, heat blast, goss round, so on and so forth. It just literally is the same rotation the entire time. This rotation also never really changes, just upgrades as you get later on. So once you perfect it, the job becomes pretty intuitive. 
Wildfire is something you pair with this combo to try to get as many abilities stacked within the window to maximize Wildfire's damage, and this depends on how many weapon skills you land on the enemy. Reassemble transforms any ability into a direct critical hit for massive damage, similar to Warrior's Felcleave. You also have an auto turret that is later updated to your queen that is basically just a glorified dot, but a rather cool damage over time ability at that. Level 50 and above, you're just getting used to building off your heat gauge and unleashing a ton of damage on your opponent while having small cooldown periods using your regular GCDs. Also, Flamethrower, which I'm not sure if it's a DPS gain or not, but damn, it's a pretty rad looking ability. Bioblaster is your AoE dot, and Air Anchor is just an upgraded hotshot. Pretty much, you're just upgrading your abilities for more damage. There was a really cool change in Endwalker, and that's an upgraded to your AoE ability, which is now a shotgun. Now, I might not sound as excited for Machinist as I would for Bard because it was very few changes, but it was already amazing to begin with. And if you can see this gameplay, it is just so fast. The great thing about Machinist is that a lot of the cooldowns line up, so it's a very calculative job and you're able to perfect it with understanding and practicing the cooldowns. If you want a calculative, strong, and mobile range DPS, then Machinist is for you. Dancer unlocks at level 60 in Limsa Lominza. We finally have some damage buffs that were introduced in 6.08 patch update, which hopefully more buffs are coming in the 6.1 or maybe a little bit of a job change. Now, this job is not unplayable as many exclaim. It just isn't its strongest, but if you love Dancer, then you're gonna wanna keep on playing it. Under level 50, you're just hitting your procs and you have your main GCDs. You don't really get anything extra except for standard step until you're level 50 and above. And the only reason you'd be under level 50 at this point is if you were doing the leveling roulette. How the job basically works is you use your base single target GCD or AoE ability, Cascade, or Windmill. From here, it's just casting this base GCD until you see yellow windows pop up for the other GCDs. You basically only want to use the yellow proc windows abilities when they pop up. It's about a 50% chance, so this really is a RNG type of job. Now, standard step turns your GCDs into buttons to press to perform the step. Doing these right will grant you a high hitting damage and some damage buffs. Now because of the RNG and simplicity of Dancer, a lot of people choose to play this job because it really doesn't have a strict rotation to it. Above level 50, you'll be able to work towards burst windows and that's when you get level 62 skill Devilment. This will give you and a dance partner a 20% critical hit increase and direct hit rate increase as well. With the few other abilities added from different gauges like your feathers and your fan dances as well as saber dance and your spirit gauge, later down the road you save all of this up, activate devilment, and just unleash fury on your opponent. Now when you don't have these things or you're just saving up to your burst window, it can be a little bit boring and that's just because you're just using your GCDs like regular. Now I will say Dancer is kind of lacking in my personal opinion at the current moment. I would like to see Square either give it a strong DPS presence or lean more heavy on support that actually makes a huge difference. Or maybe just give it a ability that reduces recast and cast time weapon skills. Now should any of this deter from people actually playing the job? Absolutely not. It is a whimsical and support job with a few recent damage buffs so it lends more support than it did before all in all it's a beautiful job to play and takes the stress off of a strict rotation but with that you need to make sure to hit your procs and don't forget to use them when they're full as since dps is on the lower side already you'll want to maximize as much as you possibly can also, we can't forget about my favorite ability on Avant. This is just a super fun ability to dodge AoE and catch up to your party if you fall behind. I just really like this ability. If you want a heavy support job free and unfeathered from strict rotations and highly mobile, then Dancer just might be the job for you. These jobs are all viable to playing any content in the game. If you want to get into Savage, that becomes a little bit more picky for what jobs are allowed. 
Comment down below what your favorite range class is and why, and if you take any of these into Savage tier for rating for those who might be seeking that. I want to give a humble thank you to my Patreon supporters as if it wasn't for you guys, I would not be able to put out regular content like this. If you want to join my public Discord or support this channel's content, then you can click that link in the description box down below. Want to watch more Final Fantasy and Walker tips and guides? Then you can click here.